This week, astronomers announced the discovery of the first ever Einstein zigzag. And it looks like this, which doesn't seem that impressive, but is actually really interesting. To understand why, we need to talk about something called gravitational lensing. Alright, so we're here on Earth, and there's some galaxy really, really far away. It's sending light out in all directions, but the only light from it we're actually going to see is the stuff that's heading directly towards us. Normally, that light just heads across the universe, and we see galaxies in our night sky, but sometimes there is stuff in between us and that distant galaxy. This stuff could be another galaxy, a cluster of galaxies, really anything big that has a very strong gravitational influence. The gravity of this in-between object, which we're going to call the lens, literally warps the fabric of space-time. It bends space. When light from this distant galaxy goes past the lens, it doesn't just keep going off into space in a straight line. It actually gets deflected by the lens's gravity. And light from over here can also get deflected and bent towards Earth. This does cool things like magnifying distant objects, making them seem brighter because we're getting more of their light, and making them appear multiple times. Because imagine from Earth, if we look at the light that's coming from this direction, we're going to assume it's coming from a source that's over here, and the light that's coming from this direction, we're going to assume is coming from a source that's over here. So what we're seeing in this image is a quasar that is being gravitationally lensed, causing it to appear six distinct times, each of these little dots that's labeled with a letter. But there's another object that's being lensed here, and it's this red arc that we see appear twice. When initially discovered, it was thought that this was another galaxy at the same distance as the quasar, and they're just both being lensed by this bright thing in the middle. But actually, this red galaxy is in between the quasar and this big lens. So coming back to our diagram, we have the quasar, the lens, and another galaxy in between them. And this is how we get an Einstein zigzag, because the light from the quasar gets lensed by the first galaxy, and then again by the second. It's literally zigzagging across the universe to us. Here we see the path light took to create each of the six images of the quasar. Only two of them do the true zigzag, where it zigs past the first source and then zags past the second. You can also see here the way that the light is getting curved outward. That is due to the expansion of the universe, which is something that systems like this allow us to study in a way we've never done before. And this is the first time we've ever seen this because it's hard to get this kind of alignment between the three objects perfectly and the mass of the lenses needs to be exactly right for the zigzag to happen. So all combined, this is a really cool discovery. Plus it's got a fun name. I mean, Einstein zigzag? It's perfect. 